let's start about what we are going to learn during week six. Uh, we are going to continue the concept of solving equations. Uh, we did one step and two step equations. Now we will go to uh, more than one step. Uh, in this lesson, we are going to apply the distributive property first. Then we can continue uh, steps. So basically, you have uh, this format, which you have a factor outside a parentheses. So you need first to distribute this factor uh, and continue the steps. Notice that here we have an equation, not only an expression. So, uh, so the uh, objective for this lesson is to use the distributive property to solve equation. In this example, example number one, you can see how can I use the model, area model, to present the distributive. We did the same idea in the expressions part, if you can remember, uh, as if I have an area, the width, uh, the width is the same, but I had different length. Okay, this is how uh, we can represent it as um, algebraic expressions and equations. But the difference here, because I have the equal sign, so it is an equation. Again, you can see this example. You have a factor outside the parentheses. You have to multiply it first to each term inside the parentheses. Again and again and again, don't forget to be careful when dealing with the uh, integers. A negative multiplied by a negative number will give you a positive number. But here we have a negative multiplied by positive. And again, if you are dealing, adding uh, two integers, one of them is negative, the other is positive. Basically, you are going to subtract and the sign will follow the greatest number. Another example, the same, but you can see here that we are dealing with the rational numbers. Same concept. You have to apply by your own in the try it part. Key concept, as you can see, uh, when I am solving an equation with a factor outside the parentheses, I have to distribute first, then to continue as if it's a two step equation. Uh, again, the area model will help you to imagine what you are talking about. As always, we are going to pick some of these questions and uh, do the homework so you can practice more and more. Referring to your BC, you can find videos, you can find uh, uh, online activities, another video. You can always uh, refer to it and practice. Here again, you can find um, worksheets. And of course, their key answer. And here you have a question that uh, I would like to see you solving it. Now, in lesson uh, five four, we are going to start the inequalities. Uh, you uh, can remember that in grade six, and before that, you were talking about inequalities. Okay. Now we want to solve them. Uh, first of all, we are going to do one step in equality, which is either additive or subtractive inverse. Later on, we will uh, continue uh, multiplication and um, division. So basically, you are going to see how inequalities and equations uh, are similar. And also you can see and spot the difference between them. So the goal for this lesson is I can solve inequalities using addition or subtraction. Basically, we call these uh, two operations as additive inverse. We'll talk about that later. Uh, of course, when we are talking about solving inequalities, the main idea is to use the number line. Uh, you can remember that uh, one of the main differences between uh, equations and inequalities that equations could give you one exact uh, solution or two or three according to the uh, type. 
but if we are talking about linear equations we have only one solution but in equalities no we have so many solutions so we cannot only say it is a number uh, it is an interval so the best way to present that is on the number line as we can go through you can see that solving inequality is basically very close to solving an equations I mean the steps here that's in the case of adding or subtracting in the case of uh, dividing or uh, multiplying we have something different we'll talk about next lesson here you can see the solution uh, one of the main important uh, thing that you have to uh, to be aware of that is uh, when you are going to spot the solutions on the line uh, we have two types of dots or let's say circles one of them is open or not filled and the other is colored or let's say closed each one of them will present something different and another main idea is the direction of the arrow we have to learn about that uh, during the lesson so the key concept here in uh, uh, the addition and subtraction property uh, when we are solving inequality are like the addition and subtraction property in the equations there is no difference only in the way that we are going to present the answers again we are going to solve many uh, practice questions in order to master the skill again if you refer to your BC you can find uh, videos practice you can find worksheets and additional questions good luck everyone see you later